Let's talk about website prices. I'm gonna reveal my pricing over the last five to 10 years of different real world projects that I've created. Okay, so this website down here is like two grand and this one up here, that's about five grand. And this one here is 20 grand, but wait, how did I pick these prices and what is a price anyway? Let's take a step back and have a look at this before we jump into the actual websites themselves. The price can have so much meaning for a project. It's the first thing we think about when we're starting a new project with a client and it's usually the first thing the client thinks about as well. This one number can determine how large a project is or the level of quality people are looking for or even the kind of value that this website is providing. Okay, so here is our first example, Paint Perfect, a website I did a few years ago. This this website here I did for less than $1,000 and there's a few reasons for that. You don't have to look too closely to realize that this isn't a custom design. This is just a WordPress template and the customer here is also not some large organization with hundreds of employees. It's just a regular painting company doing stuff locally. Next we have bathroom renovations. Now this one here is also a template but it's slightly larger. So while it didn't take as much time to get up and running, there are lots of pages here like about us and testimonials and all of this meant this project here was $2,000. Now you might be thinking that these websites just don't cost very much at all, and it's kind of true. These are ones I did like five to 10 years ago when I was just getting started in web development, and a lot has changed since then. Next, let's have a look at some of the more custom designs I've created, where I've handcrafted every single line of code without using some template on WordPress. This website here is for fencing, and it's a custom design. This design came in at $5,000. Now at a glance, it might look similar to the previous ones, but there's a few things that are happening here that we didn't have on other sites. You probably notice the animation whenever you refresh the page. This just means that there is a little bit more life to it. You also get this animation when you're scrolling through. We have things like parallax happening as well as great hover states. There's also video happening on the home page. The menu is large and expansive and covers many different types of pages depending on the products that they have. And this is why it came in at this price. It also shows that while they're a local organization, they're not absolutely massive, but they're not small either. This here is a custom design. Everything from the logos to the color scheme to the website to even the drone photography. And from a price point of view, this website came in just over $5,000 which is a little bit more than our previous ones. There are a few reasons for this price. The very first is that these guys here are business to business and they're trying to win contracts for large scale projects. So they need really good examples here for their website, which are straight to the point. So any business owner can jump on here, view previous projects. So a lot of time and care was put into the structure and design of this page. And while responsive design these days is a given, extra care was placed onto this website to make sure that every single viewport would be viewed quite well and the information could be easily consumed no matter what kind of device that you're on. This next website is a winery and theirs is more expensive because of the fact that they're doing quite a few things. Things like e-commerce, trying to sell wines on their website as well as memberships and try to tell some stories on there with good video and photo. This website here was done for $7,000 and it comes with a lot of work that happened behind the scenes. Now this website here is not a small company and the goal here for this custom design is to really help sell the wines. Any website that has e-commerce is always gonna be worth a lot more. And that is because the website itself will be generating money. If you can quantify how much a improvement you can make by creating a brand new website, you can essentially figure out the value of that website and charge a lot more. If you like fishing or boats, this website here is a custom design. Everything from the logo to the design itself to even the code in the back end, which does the searching. It has a bit of an e-commerce element to it, and this one was not cheap. A website of this caliber comes in over $7,000, and there's a few reasons for this. Unlike the previous website, where we were selling wines for between maybe $30 to $50, this one here is selling boats, and boats are not cheap. A boat can be anywhere between $10,000 to $100,000. This means that every single time that this website makes a sale, it's generating a lot of profit, and therefore the value of it is essentially much higher. And this is one of the most important things that people need to understand in terms of website pricing. The kind of value that you're providing through the website really helps dictate its price. So let's take this to the next step, essentially, with a website for shoes, where it's taking it to a whole new level in terms of e-commerce and how much value the site provides. This website here is worth over $20,000. And this is a large company. Let's take a look at why it's worth so much more. The website here is an e-commerce website. It has hundreds of different types of products as well as categories. And for each one of them, they have hundreds, if not more photos as well. 
you have different variations on the products too. And this connects all the way into a backend API. And this API also connects to a point of sale system. On top of that, weeks, if not months of time was placed into every single design aspect of this website, from its categories to its different pages, to even the responsive design elements to make sure that it just works on every type of device. This next website is one of the larger ones I've done. This one here comes in at $40,000. Now to some people that might just seem ridiculous, but to me personally, having built this and part of the entire design, this was actually not even enough. The website itself is made for a council. And as you know, governments and councils usually have a little bit more to spend, but they also have a lot more requirements and scope as well. The website itself has custom video and photography with listing of every type of business within that region. A website like this takes months to develop with lots of parties involved across lots of meetings to be able to achieve things like, for example, the blogging or news section here, or all these events or these sections here for tourism that people might want to attend or even just promoting local small businesses like restaurants or amusement parks. This is what I mean by a large scale website. And it's not something that can be done with just one person, but rather an entire team. Now, one thing you might have noticed that I didn't really go into with a lot of these examples is what technology they're using. Or for example, some of the actual plugins or other features that are code related. This is because the website pricing at the end of the day doesn't really come down to the technology, whether it's React or Angular or Vue. It doesn't really matter if it's WordPress or Shopify. What matters is the kind of results you're providing for customers. So hit the like button and tell me what you thought of this kind of video and if you want more of it in the future.